Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um... So what are your thoughts on my Jace pick in, uh, into Jax or Wukong? The Jace pick is good because it allows utility for Jinx with his gate. It also enables Blitzcrank's W and also the Talisman of Ascension to have like a super steroid in the much later mm. stages of the game. Um, it also enables Volibear's Chase. You have a great disengage now for your team and a team that really didn't have a disengage prior to that other than like Ziggs throwing down his... Uh, I don't even know the names of some of these things in English. Um, you know, minefield, his little, yeah, I guess it's a his, minefield. His minefield and his little, like, bump, like, he knocks them up. Um, Satchel charge. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Jinx has her uh, her jumper things. So you you provide a lot of utility that the team is lacking, and that so it's a really good pick. In addition to that, Jace is also very good against both of these uh both of these tops, so it, it, no, mm. no matter what, it's a good pick. And then um, Jace can easily abuse Purple Side because not only is he a Seager, but he also has great disengage, so even if you end up pushing like very hard, um, it's very mm. easy for you to escape ganks when factoring in that you can run back into three bushes, thus interrupting uh, vision, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they can't, you know, they can't use uh, click skill shots and stuff on you as you run through yes. three different bushes. Okay. So the Jace pick's really good. Um, in addition to that, Jace is a very powerful carry, um, and with the tier buff, you know, mm -hmm. um, th it's no reason not to pick him. So I'm just gonna okay. I'm gonna skip into the thing. Okay, you go Doran Shield and uh, uh, I go Blade. Yep. Or Doran's Blade. Sorry, God, I don't know why I call it Doran Shield. I'm so sorry. Okay, you go Blade and uh, Trinket. So this is fine. <clears throat> Good, you're getting the FKs. Now, you know, um, again, uh, Volibear is F2, Jinx is F3, Ziggs is F4, Blitzcrank is F5. Mm -hmm. You know how that works? Okay, just making sure. Yeah, um, I played uh, StarCraft 2 uh, until I got Diamond or something, so I just took some hotkeys from there. Okay, cool, cool. Uh -huh. Alright, good. So, yep, you're doing, uh, this is a nice fan. Um, so basically, the only thing to maybe be wary of is, well, well, why isn't Blitzcrank moving? The only thing to be wary of is if they do elect to come in through, you know, that brush. I mean, you, you can get away with using your R, but um, you're definitely going to want to know if Wukong starts blue or red. Mm. Um, because that, that, that completely affects how you're going to be playing the lane, especially because you're opening Doran's, uh, Doran's Blade. Um, so Doran's mm -hmm. Blade, you really want to get that level 2 spike on Jax before, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so that you get the, the big combo off, you knock him back, you chunk him for like 60% of his HP. Um, so that's really important. Uh, mm. But you don't want to have the lane, you know, pushing, you know, say at le like 315 to 330 if Wukong ended up starting red. Um, yeah. Because then that creates a little bit of a problem, especially because you have Doran's Blade, so any sort of damage or trading that you do earlier on is going to come back to bite you. Um, yeah. Also, when, when you do a Doran's Blade opening, uh, in solo queue, I would advise not leashing for that jungler here. Unless it's a jungler that's uh, heavily reliant on... I'm going to pause. Unless it's a jungler mm -hmm. that's heavily reliant on getting a leash, uh, such as, like, an Evelyn starting red, like, she'll lose almost all of her HP without a leash. Okay, all right, yes. Um, unless it's something like that, I'm almost always going to say just don't do it. And this is specifically for solo queue. Um, mm -hmm. Unless, like, you know, you get to the very high levels of solo queue and you end up facing very coordinated players that are all, like, properly fanned out and va late invades are possible, um hook around invades and what I mean by that is like they ward the red and then they walk like almost into your base and they wait so like um here on my screen that you can see my mouse cursor uh okay you know what I mean like stuff like that but anyways so the reason that I say that is because you could already be here in this lane right and Jax mm -hmm. still isn't here and when you're doing a Doran's Blade opening or any champion um that wants to get the jump start on level two um this minion could like already be dead this minion could be much lower, you know, the back minions could maybe have like a hit or two on them already, and the front minion might be ready to die, and Jax isn't even here yet. 
So mm -hmm. you've basically guaranteed, without even doing anything, that you're going to get the level two. Okay. All right. All right. That's just a really small thing, but it's really important. You know what I mean? You always just want to be in the lane, and this is strictly for solo queue. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Go. So at this point, I just know that he started blue. Um, Wukong. Mm -hmm. So I just mentally note that. Okay. Here, um, I want to just address something really, really quick. Okay, so when you're coming into the lane, okay, I'm gonna print screen. I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into paint. Okay, so I have my little colors here. So you've changed into, you know, your your siege mode, your long range, and what's mm -hmm. the most obvious thing? Now you shoot your your ball, and it ends up hitting right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, to get the AoE onto these minions, and hopefully you're hoping that it hits and splashes this. But that's not the most important, like, this isn't the most important location. The most important location is Jax is obviously going for this, right? So you don't need okay. to CS these two immediately when you're presented with opportunity to shoot the ball here, and then the AoE hits, kills this, you get the CS, and then it also weakens this as you're advancing forward, and then you can begin to auto-attack and kill it, and then you can angle up okay. through your minions. And Jax can't, he can't retaliate. So this is basically just, uh, you make a positioning mistake um, and a skill mistake that ends up giving you not uh, unfavorable positioning, but if you were to just do this, Jax simply can't retaliate. Um, mm -hmm. And it's basically a free poke. And when you're playing a Doran's a blade opening, um, or you know, if you're not Jace, say that you're playing... Uh, you know, Kennen and you're doing a Doran's Blade or you're, you know, you're doing a Red Elixir start on like a Riven or something like that. These type mm -hmm. of things are what make these starts. Like these are so okay. critical. So just, um, you know, always be looking like what could I have done better in this situation? And these are the type of thought processes that you want to have. Okay. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Any questions? Yes, it does. Okay. Good. Um, not really. No. Okay. All right. Let's get back to the video. Okay. Now you hit that, hit him. No, why back off? Uh, because I drew minion aggro, and at this point it, it does a lot of damage compared to, well, him. Okay, but if you, okay, now you do draw minion aggro, right? And you, mm -hmm. you, have, the, you have the avatar thing up on Jax, and what I mean by that is you can see him in the top left, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he has Doran's Blade, and he has Red Pot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, who suffers more from loss of life in this matchup, considering the starts? Jax. Why? Okay. Because you have the knockback once you hit level 2. You also have a speed boost, which Jax does not have. Once Jax uses his leap, he's committed. You oh, yeah, do okay. not have to commit. You have a speed boost, you have a knockback, and you have a flash. If something's not going pretty for you, you can just be like, ah, I'm Jace, and like laugh at him. Whereas if he okay. leaps, he's committed. So because of that, it's only three minions. You know, you factor in the damage per second that they deal, the fact that they're ranged, and the fact that their projectile has to hit you before you you lose life. You can easily mm -hmm. walk into him, zone him out of this XP, and now all of a sudden you've hyper guaranteed that you're going to get the level two on him. Okay. 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 So basically, what you want to be thinking here is you're you're willing to trade 80 HP of aggro in exchange for maybe one more auto attack, which. It may not be 80 damage, like, what, what is your DPS right now? 72? 72, 72 so you factor, yeah. You factor in his armor. Um, so you're dealing, like, 50 to 60. I, I can't see um, his armor on the screen right now. Um, so you're dealing, like, 50 to 60 mm -hmm. damage. So you're getting a, a trade, but you're also winning the battle with positioning, and you zone him out of a CS. And he can't mm -hmm. retaliate okay. because he's only level 1. He doesn't have leap. He doesn't have counter strike. You know what I mean? He just has his. He has to be on top of you to deal damage. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. Okay. It does. All right. Questions? Okay. Um. Mm, nope. Okay. All right. Go. Yes. All right. Let's go. Okay. You're CSing. Now see, you're right now. You're you're moving in a circle, 
which is it, it's good. You're you're essentially I'm gonna use the terminology from Super Smash Brothers Melee, uh, dash dancing, um, which is you're dancing, you know, back and forth. You're remaining active, um, your acceleration is active, you're remaining unpredictable, and you know what I mean? Like, if he makes a misstep, mm -hmm. you're already in motion, so you can respond to it accordingly. Um, the one thing that I don't like is that you're letting a level 1 Jax be close to the minions as Jace. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna be playing, like, Teemo, Vayne, uh, Ezreal top, Ryze top, uh, Jace, you know what I mean? Like, all these ranged champions, he shouldn't be allowed to be this close. He should be getting zoned out of CS. It's just the dynamic of the matchup. Mm -hmm. And inherently, that's because Jax scales so well into the later stages of the game. So, when you're standing, you know, when you're doing these motions... I'm gonna just go back. Okay, so you hit this, and now you kill it, and now we see your mouse cursor. You go to direct input command uh, backwards, mm -hmm. right? Why not direct input command left? Because by going left, these... I'm gonna take this into paint. Ooh, one sec. Okay, take this into paint. Uh, get my colors. Okay. Now, if you're you're about to direct input right, Right, this minion's mm -hmm. gonna go down, and we have your XP bar, but I can't see it because YouTube's great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm one or two minions from level two. You're actually okay. So these are the the minions from the first um, wave, right? You actually just need a seventh minion. Does not matter which minion. It's always seven minions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just know that. So that's why yes. zoning them out of one or two minions is actually so important. So right okay. now, if you kill this in direct input left. These minions right here, like one, you know, one, two, three, they're mm -hmm. not they're not gonna aggro you. They're melee. This minion right here, he's already focused on this. Yeah, okay. He's not gonna draw aggro. And Jax is sitting right here, he has to get this XP and this XP. But if you if you come over here and then dash dance like this, as these minions oh, yeah. okay. collide with this minion, he what does he have to do? He has to either walk backwards or he has to go down and right. And what happens if he goes down and right? Well, look at the clock. Technically, yeah. he now has to be afraid of your jungler. He doesn't want to be zoning down to the right. So mm -hmm. now you're applying psychological pressure and you're applying, you know, this fog of war, this is your ally. You know what I mean? Like he can't know mm -hmm. where your jungler is right now. Now, fortunately for him, Volibear decided that he started red instead of blue and Volibear is now at rates or whatever, but he can't know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you have to play that mind game. Mind games are really, really big, you know, and I'm, I'm going to go over this a lot in the sessions that we have. And by mm -hmm. forcing him into here, okay, and then you're standing. I'm going to just delete all these lines. Okay, mm -hmm. so now we're going to, you know, go into the future a little bit. So you're standing here. He zones down into here, okay? You okay. kill this minion. You kill this minion. Level two, walk forward. Now now you're advancing. You're, you're, um... You're, you know, you're, uh, you're evolving, basically, your, your lane. And now, he still doesn't have these two minions. He's still level one. What does he do? He can't do anything. You land mm -hmm. a big combo, and you back off, because you're Jace. Alright? And okay. then when you back off, he wants to come back in for these minions. Your cooldowns are reset. You walk back in, just to apply pressure. Just psychological movement pressure. You don't have to attack him. You don't have to... You know, you don't have to go for a kill on him. You don't have to do anything. Just by standing in certain locations, you apply such immense amount of pressure that it can make a player break emotionally. And if you can make him break emotionally, he will leap onto you when he's not supposed to. He will go in for CS that he's not supposed to. He will rage mm -hmm. at his jungler, and his jungler will rage at him, and in turn, the team rages at him, and hopefully you get an AFK. That is your goal. Okay. All right. So, all right. Does that all make sense? The position yes, stuff? it does. Okay. All this right. This applies to every champion, not just Jace. Like, I know we're using Jace right now, and the techniques that I'm describing are fixated on Jace, but if this mm -hmm. was like a Teemo or something, you would have mm. the same thought process. Teemo, go left, you know, maybe hit him with a poison dart. He goes down, chase, poison dart, poison dart, because it's Teemo, you want that poison to tick. Walk back up, mm -hmm. get a CS, and then cue him and back off. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, so every champion is going to have different techniques, but the concepts are always going to be the same. All right? Mm. And, and, and these situations, th these movements and stuff, they're going to come up again. Because why? Minions move the same way. Minions approach the lane the same way. You know what I mean? Mm. So just like, yeah. in, just like in chess, you know, the openings are always going to be the same. The mid-games are you know, going to be approached the same. 
and then, you know, whatever. And League of Legends is like chess. So, anyways, this all makes sense? This all good? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get back to the video. Do you have questions about that? Um, Anything? not really. Okay. No. Okay, now now you get the level two. CS that. What are you doing? Why aren't you punishing him? You got the level two, right? Mm hmm You should chunk him for all his HP. Because even if he wants to, now first off, okay, so you get the level two. Now I think you're like two seconds off of chunking, but Am please I? go ahead. Well, it, okay. It can't okay. take long, no. Yeah, there we go. That's a good chunk, but what happened? Because you hesitated. He's level two. He's level All two. Right. Now, what is level two? Now, first off, he managed to get CS that he should not have been able to get, because if you if you knock okay. him this far back, he just missed two CS. That's, that's gold, you know what I mean? That's big. Now, mm -hmm. you can't zone him out of the XP here, but what you can do is you can knock him back, and you deal more effective damage because he doesn't have the level up yet because the, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have killed the minions himself and thus okay. because you have the acceleration gate your movement speeds faster and now you walk forward at auto 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 and then you walk back and you still have the movement buff so you would suggest starting in hammer stance uh, for that right. engagement right 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 all right okay okay Specifically in this situation. Specifically in this situation. Now, let's reverse okay. it and say Jack's got level 2 before you. What do you want to mm -hmm. do? You want to walk back into the brushes so he can't target leap onto you. And you want to mm -hmm. CS from far away with your Q to get the level 2. Walk back into land and hammer stance. And now you say, if you leap on me, I'm going to knock you back and then respond with an auto. You know what I mean? Okay. So, All right. basically, you know, you go, you go both ways. Alright, uh, let's go. Alright. Mm -hmm. hmm. Now I now here, okay. Now here, uh, I would use hammer stance to get the CS, and that's specifically because yes, while Jax's uh, counter strike is on cooldown, and we know that he doesn't have a leap, um, just having hammer stance while getting the CS is beneficial. Um, in the event that the jungler comes up, because right now it's jungler timing, but we can judge from his movements that the jungler is nowhere nearby. Mm hmm. And that's just generic like he's playing very scared he's playing very bizarre his trade was like miscalculated he didn't look like he was in a rush to get level two it just didn't add up you know what i mean mm -hmm. um the other lanes are pushing you know we look at zigs and it looks like kale has that lane like hyper shoved and if there is going to be any sort of gank opportunity or any sort of fight going off anytime soon it's going to be in bot lane at least mm -hmm. that's the way that it looks okay okay all right all right Make sense? Questions? Anything? Um, I was... Uh, mm, not really, actually. Uh, the only thing I will probably do is drop a ward, because if the jungler went to red and then came straight to top, it's probably the time, but no. Well, a jungler I don't can think no there's longer, anything else. A jungler can no longer come red, blue, top. They're level 2 if they do that. I mean, they can uh, do it, but it, it's like... The lane isn't set up for that. Um, some in, in a situation that you would have to entertain that is something like you and Jax trade really, really, really heavy, like level mm -hmm. one or something, and like you both blow summoners. Then okay. you kind of have to entertain, yeah, like a red to blue to top without level three, okay. because then level three is not a necessity. You don't have an escape. The jungler doesn't need anything more than red buff to kill you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, okay. Now, um, something I want to talk about. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna if you do it, but just based on this positioning from the current screen capture that I have here, uh, mm -hmm. what are you what are you going to think that I'm about to say that you should be doing? I should be zoning him out uh, of the experience. Okay, but um, but why? What is what is the cooldown right now on his Counter Strike? Um, at the start, I think it's 18 seconds. So you use, it's probably still 10 seconds or 8 seconds at okay. this point. So you're, so, okay, so you're timing it. That's good. And uh, so it's still on cooldown. Can he retaliate mm -hmm. to you in any manner? Uh, not unless he wants to die. No, exactly. So you can even fight with him. You can get dirty with him now. 
right? Mm -hmm. You can walk all the way to fucking tower. He can't do shit about it. And what and what you get to do is zone, 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 zone. He gets to miss all this. Not all of it, because obviously your minions are going to kill, you know what I mean? Uh, his minions faster than yours can, or his can kill yours. But mm -hmm. he will be zoned out, and that is a very stressful thing. Okay, um, do you do you consciously decide to chase him here and then potentially lose that one or two CS? Or do you actually Here's what go I for a CS? Here's what I would do. I would click mm -hmm. to here, try to get an auto. If I can't, I'd turn around, auto this, and then I would click towards the right. And why do I want to click towards the right? Because I want to get ready to ward. Okay? Mm -hmm. And while clicking yeah. towards the right, I still... I have full control over this, this radius, yes. right? I have full okay. control over everything here with my Q, right? Mm -hmm. um, if he comes within anywhere, you know, between this, I can hit him while still at the same time being in range to auto this last minion. And then I can break right. My minions will advance forward. I'm going to delete all these lines. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't want to delete that one. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't want to delete that one. I can break right. And I'll, I'll be standing here. I can break right, and all while at the same time, my, his new minions will clash with mine right around here. Mhm. Mm okay. And then I can drop the ward safely down in the brush, whilst with acceleration gate still being able to hit this entire line. All right. Okay. Okay. So you're, um... you're applying pressure even when you're not on the screen. <laughs> so it's like, it's really good. And hmm. uh, we're going to get into some really neat stuff um, in the event that I don't see you do it because you actually have a very big edge being purple side Jace against blue side Jax because of this. This okay. brush. And right here. All um, right. Um, and what I mean by right here is, I don't know if you know this, uh, you can tell me if you do, there is a slight uh, vision blocker here. You can stand here oh. and be in mm -hmm. fog of war if he's not like past that. That's okay. really big for the acceleration gate. You know what I mean? Q combos. Yes. So that that's huge, okay. and that's something to take advantage of. Um, and then your your goal as Jace uh, in this lane, okay, is to obviously freeze the lane right around here, okay. Mm -hmm. And the reason that I say that is because why? Then you get to stand here, walk in and out of this brush, constantly, hit him mm -hmm. with Qs and auto attacks, and then by walking back into the brush, he can't target leap you ever yes, and okay. while being here you're in perfect range for cs mm, so this is okay. uh, you know this is a little mechanism of uh purple side jace that you know it, it you don't really get it now if you're blue side jace yeah you kind of still have this brush but it's not in the same manner that you're pushing him back to tower mm -hmm. you know what i mean now yeah. you could argue that maybe you could do it from that brush but not without exposing yourself to the jungler, you know what I mean? Yes, okay. Um, now the jungler, yes, he can come in from here, come in from here, right? But you have a mm -hmm. lot of safety falling back into these three lines and, you know, with your acceleration gate and your knockback, that this route, like, from the enemy jungler, is not as dangerous as this route. Hmm, okay. okay, all right. All right. All makes sense. Um, yeah, is? there's one thing though. Okay. Um, the the acceleration thingy on the bottom uh, of the river. This. Uh, that you mentioned. Yes. Um, personally, I wouldn't be accelerating at level two anymore. Maybe once or twice oh, because yeah, yeah. that this combo is... is all very dangerous for mana. Right, right, right. Yes. No, but I, that's I about agree. everything. This is like when you have tier. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, then then I can understand perfectly. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, but right now, what you want to be doing is, I don't know if you do it, we'll see if you do, you want to be trading as low as humanly possible. What's the other mm -hmm. reason for trading as low as humanly possible? Well, who hits three first? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, now, what is level three? It's not just a skill. It's HP, it's mana, it's mm -hmm. HP region, it's mana region. And it's flat AD and armor and magic resistance stats. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can get into a trade where your level up wins by the, you know, you pop like plus 80 HP plus, you know, whatever. And you oh, yes. like live in ignite because of that. You know, there's mm -hmm. so many times that that happens. You see it a lot in pro play. So that's the other issue with why you want to be getting down and dirty with Jax right now. Is not only do you already have the HP lead, you have mirrored builds. Mm -hmm. And he can't retaliate to you, and his cooldowns are higher right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Mm, All right. Excellent. All right. Let's go.
I'm just gonna clear this and get my colors back for next time. Okay, good. Here we go. Nice, that was a nice auto. And okay, keep walking into him. Nice, you got into that bush. That was really nice, avoiding the minion aggro. That was that was over. Okay, now I liked that you went for the level three, right? Um, mm -hmm. But that that seemed a little premature, and the reason that I say that is because we're gonna just go through this. Um, I think I can go through it in slow mode, right? Yes, I can. Okay, we're gonna go through this in slow mode. I miss. I miss. I mean, fuck. No, I, <laughs> I know. No, I I I I get that. But um, so here, like right there. Like, that was really nice that you, you pulled away from the minion aggro, but you can get an, one more auto attack off before doing that, just because of the range on the uh, oh, minions. Okay. okay? And that doesn't seem right. like much, but an auto is an auto. You know what I mean? So that's, it's pretty big, especially yeah. when you're doing this. Free damage. That's, yeah, it's free damage, of course. Um, so here, you DI back in. Now, see, these minions already have their AI set on these minions, right? So you don't have to DI, mm -hmm. you don't have to, uh, you don't have to put your mouse command so high up you can put it further like you can put it in between the minions because again we want to make Jax uncomfortable right okay all right so and we know that we're getting level three because look at this you still have three minions alive from your second wave mm -hmm. you know what i mean and he only has his third wave so this is really big okay so now we go through this relatively slow you go to cs that okay you got it And you go to CS this. Nice. And then, see you're clicking right. But why do that? Why not just click into him? You want him to go down. Right? Hmm. You want him to go back into his tower. Because what? what's this? You see this minion that's above you that's about to die? That's yours? Mm, that's him experience that. for that's him experience. that I can deny. You can deny it. Yeah. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> so, get him away from this. How do you do that? By moving into him. Hmm. Now look at the difference in HP. He's already popped his potion. Now, also, what is the popping of a potion uh, a sign of? Sometimes. Now, we're going to have to evaluate how he now changes his movements based on him popping his potion. If all of a sudden, Jax, who was playing like a pansy, never doing anything, is now trying to like get in your face and like... Oh, uh, then come the up jungler is here. The jungler yeah. is here. Because like, why do you randomly pop your potion at half HP, but you were just like 10% higher HP for 30 seconds but you never popped it it doesn't it doesn't add up so now we gotta pay attention okay mm -hmm. okay all right so you go to hit this now this is why i say it's an error okay we're gonna go through this really really slow is because you can see where he's di direct inputting right and it's like you aim in the opposite direction of it. And it's not that you miss in the direct... Like, right now, he's clicking top left. Because Jax is mm -hmm. facing that way, right? So no matter what, and I'm, I'm gonna... So he's clicking top left, and you go to... We're gonna do this right now. Okay. Now, when he's clicking like this... Okay, now we can assume that his screen is like... I don't know, something like that, right? And we can't mm -hmm. see, you know, the radius that's over here. But when he's clicking like this, he can't go here. He can't click here. He, he's not going to click. None of this is going to be clicked, right? So where does it leave to click? Here, 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 you know what I mean? And further down. So while you have the, the gate up, I'm going to use green for the gate, and then I'm going to go and get uh, yellow, okay? Your, um, your shots should be in this area okay mm -hmm. now what is in this area that also hits anything that's like here you know what i mean so the fact that you shoot down here is like really weird because like you're not really maximizing the closest distance to his most likely movements because you want to hit the hitbox of jacks right yeah does that make sense yes it does okay and then also, by hitting something over to the left, what do you do again? You force him down to the right. Even if you miss it. You know what I mean? Because he is direct inputting to the left, but you force him down to the right again. And what does that do? It creates an even wider gap from the minions. Hmm. Okay? Okay.
Does that all make sense? All right. All right. Good. Uh, okay, we'll go back in. So that's that's the only reason that I say it's a little bit premature. And also, when you do this, you want to also get into the habit of uh, well, you don't have the mana for it, but um, in the later stages, I'm sure you'll do it. Uh, where you you know you jump right on top of them, you pounce them, knock them back, and then run back in. Hmm. Um, you want to do it all in your what is your do you know what your ping is? Uh, because actually, I don't want to. Yeah, tell it's you. it's. 40 to 42. Okay, then mostly. you can do it. Then you can do it. Um, if it was over 62, there's actually a Jace combo that you can't execute. Um, and I, I only know that because uh, Mima uh, back when saw MVP White, when they were MVP, they had to play against uh, China on Garena server, and the ping was like over 60, and Mima and Dandy were complaining because they couldn't execute like certain Jace and Zed combos. Um, oh really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they managed to get the ping lowered to like fifty, and all of a sudden they could do it. So, anyways, okay. um, I'm gonna speed it up, and that's just important to note uh, in case you ever play, you know, on cross server, you know what I mean, or anything like that. So. We're gonna yeah, that's normal. that's pretty good. Um, is that the that EQ? Ward spot, no. uh, yes, combo? that's the EQ combo. Let me fix okay, your, right. Let me fix your ward right now. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay. Oh, why isn't it pausing? I want to get a screen cap. Sorry. Well, apparently YouTube thinks it's fine. Yeah, YouTube <laughs> thinks it's fine. YouTube! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. YouTube. Alright. YouTube, please, let him fix it. Alright. Pause. Alright, print screen. Good. Alright, we're good. God damn it, YouTube. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, um... This is my opinion on the best ward spot, and this is just when you factor in geometry, and you factor in total vision, and also utility vision. So this mm -hmm. ward, all right, it lets you kind of see a little bit over here, lets you see a little bit if someone's coming out of your jungle. Um, mm -hmm. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't let you really see deeply into blue. So what we want to do is, um, do you see this like little like brown spot right here? Yeah. Okay. Now okay. it's blue. Uh, I'm circling. I'm circling it. <laughs> okay. You literally want to drop the ward like right on top. Like so huh. like okay. right here. And that'll enable you to see into Baron. It'll enable you to see up into blue. Not the blue camp itself. Um mm -hmm. but you know, you'll also still see, you know, whatever. So if the jungler does elect to try to come out of blue or he tries to, you know, scathe by over here, you know what I mean? If he elects huh. to do that okay. from coming through blue then sometimes you can see them. And I feel like that mm -hmm. is that's that's bigger advantage than say, you know, warding like here or here. Sometimes call you know, doing these wards are important. Like you know that you're only gonna mm -hmm. be in the lane for another thirty or sixty seconds. So you you don't need a deep ward. Right? So that's mm -hmm. fine to just you know, you're you're like harassing them in lane, like when I was talking about it like level two. So you just you walk mm -hmm. down here, you pop the ward here. Because you don't need to make too much utility out of it. Right, because you're gonna recall soon. Um, and alternatively, as the game you know goes on, you'll have a ward here, and then if your mid laner is anywhere near competent, you have a uh, you have a ward here. So mm. the jungler is not ever gonna do any sort of these nitty you know neat little things. So then he's only left with two possible uh, gank routes, which is coming up through river or coming mm -hmm. up through lane. And because you're purple side, you have a wonderful time, especially because you're Jace. Okay. All right. All right. right. Yeah, I'll um, I'll definitely uh, remember this. Okay. And also, um, you know, in the later stages, you can also run up here, and just drop a ward here, depending on the jungler. If you're facing mm -hmm. a jungler that has extremely high mobility or extremely fast, rapid gap closing, uh, Lee Sin, Kajix, Elise, um, Shaka, Shivana, maybe. Sh no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say. Sh I wouldn't say Shivana. Um, you, you. If okay. you see her coming, you can get away from her. Um, whereas right. with like Elise and stuff, like your minions, sometimes you will like hate them and wish they weren't born. You know what I mean? Like cause she, <laughs> she like walks into lane in spider form and she's not getting onto you, but she she slept with that minion man and then she like turns into a human and cocoons you. It's the worst feeling. Uh. So, anyways, yeah, that's that. Um, but you'll you'll want to do this like at later stages, like level ten or something. You know what I mean? Or mm. like uh, okay. maybe second recall, but. All For right. now, that uh, that initial ward right above here is good, um, and then okay. down, right. you know, uh, down here there's a little rock um, that is the same that works for dragon and blue. 
Um, All right. You'll know exactly so this is about. mostly for top purple and for bottom blue. This is also for right? this is also for um for top blue. Same word. For top blue. Yeah. Although All you right. know, although technically top top uh top blue does benefit. Depending on from. how they're playing the lane, if if they're mm -hmm. it, top top blue is a little bit different because um, top blue has more opportunity um, in the sense that there's river lane, enemy jungle one, enemy jungler, enemy jungle two for roots, mm -hmm. right? Um, so top blue has a little bit more opportunity. So because of that, if they're freezing the lane here, right in the middle, they only need to mm -hmm. work tri bush. You know what I mean? Because okay. they, they can escape from a river gank. If they're pushing mm -hmm. really hard, then yeah, they have to ward tri-bush, and they have to have a ward down here and, like, deep. Like, in the brush uh, that's outside mm -hmm. Baron. They have to have that. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. All right, we're good. Let's get back. Okay. So right now, what, what would... I, I don't know if you do it, but I'm hoping that you do. What should you do right now? I should tap and see um, if my jungler's somewhere, well, okay. or their jungler at least. Well, you can look on the minimap to see where your jungler is, um, okay. and you can also look at the relative timing, okay, on everything. You can take a look on the map, you know what I mean, see how the lanes are pushing for your opponents. You can use the F keys to monitor the minions' HP, because even if it looks like your opponents are getting, or your allies are getting shoved in, it might not actually mm -hmm. be the case, like you tab and actually all the minions are about to die in one shot. You know what I mean? So that's not, that's actually deceiving if you were to just look at it on the minimap. So the F keys come in handy there. But mm -hmm. what is Jax doing? Now, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go back into paint really quick. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Get my, get my colors. Um, okay. Now, what is Jax doing? Now, he's going to get these two. No matter what, he's going to hit mm -hmm. them. Right? And then what's the next thing he's going to go for? Um, the low minion, yes. Or this, that one. depending on how the, you know, whatever. Mm. Um, so he's okay. gonna go for this or this. So what do you do? You stand here, uh, acceleration gate, and where do you aim? Hmm. Here. I wouldn't acceleration gate there. My mana is too low, especially, I mean... Your mana's low, but... Your mana's low. Okay, now, you're absolutely right. You you don't have to acceleration gate here. But if you do, how much HP do you chunk out of him? You knock him to about, what, here? Yes. Okay, about here. Okay? Now, that's really dangerous, because right now, Ignite is dealing about that. So he only has this much effective HP left after mm -hmm. an acceleration gate. You're still going to have about this much mana. Right? No, I'm gonna have less oh, than that. Well, a little. Well, when factoring in when you get back to over here, mono Okay, all right. Okay. All right, fair so enough. back when back when you're ready to duel and stuff. Now, what also mm. do you have? Now, Jax I has have... to auto attack you in order to deal damage to you, right? Mm-hmm. What are all these minions? They're spellcaster. Oh, all right. This is all yes. this sexy damage that you have going for you oh, that right. he doesn't have. Okay. okay. All you right. have this nice little ward. This is why the acceleration gate targeted right here. I'm gonna use yellow. Uh, mm -hmm. Literally this sweet spot because it, it hits this and it covers this, hits them both, mm -hmm. and we know those are Jax's next targets, right? We can't deny this. We can't deny these two. So there's no there's no point in going for it. So we mm -hmm. aim to hit this little sweet spot. We chunk him. Ignite is currently dealing this. Now, when we level up, which is also going to be relatively soon, Ignite is going to mm -hmm. deal a little bit more. Ignite's going to, you know. So then he only has that much effective HP. Minions alone okay. can chunk him for that. You know what I mean? All if he right. tries, he can't do shit to you. Okay? Right. And then you want to, you know, um, just want to, you want to punish him. You want to punish so him. So you, you, you would really stand in the, um, in the blind spot and wait for him to go for the minion and then EQ. Well, right now, okay. what is his screen? Do you know what it is right now? Is um, it... I would draw it for you, but that is difficult. Yeah, something it's about like this, that. right? <laughs> so you can stand anywhere out outside here. All right. Okay. Whatever, whatever fits your arc better, you know, gives you a better angle, whatever you're more comfortable with. However, mm -hmm. these are going to go down within a second and a half. So you factor in a mm -hmm. second and a half movement speed, and Jace is standing right about here. When he goes to auto this or this. 
You don't have too much time before you reach here. That's why I say this. Mm -hmm. It actually doesn't have to do with what I talked about earlier. It just happens to be the location in which you will launch it. Okay. All right. All right. We're That's good. awesome, actually. Yeah. Okay. All right. And let's go. I'm just going to get it ready for next time. Ooh, sorry. Okay. We're good. Ready? Yes. Okay. Sweet. All right. All right. So I would have chunked him over there. Yes, you right. would have chunked him, and he would be really low on HP, and you'd have all these minions. Okay, and also, don't forget, you have an HP pot still. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can you can be a little... You can live on the edge. Alright, nice, nice. Make him hate his life. Nope, just right now. Okay, now, he can't leap on you, or he couldn't. Right? Before those, like, three minions mm. fell. He couldn't leap on you. Because his minions had not arrived yet. And I'm talking about, like, right... Uh, hold on. Okay, so here you're in hammer form, but you should be in, uh, gun mode. You know what I mean? Because this is, like, he shouldn't be able to walk up to these. He should be taking so much damage. Um, so this is a mistake to be in hammer mode. I know why you're in hammer mode, but it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Because you have the ward down, you know you're not gonna get ganked. There's no reason to have mana, like, in the amount that you need. Because I already established okay. that this is all damage. These minions, picture them as a fucking, your, your T key, because that is an extra spell. Um, okay. you know, um, so right now, this should all be damage, and Jack shouldn't be allowed to stand here. He should be down near the tower. You know what I mean? Okay. So if the tower kills, like, this minion, or this minion, he might lose it on XP. And that's really big. Um, okay, so... Mm -hmm. Now, what I want you to do here, when you turn back into gun mode, see this? Uh, this is what I want you to do, okay? And this drives people insane, and I know because I started doing it after Arise did it to me. Um, basically, what I want you to do is I want you to stand anywhere around here because tower range, right? So tower range is like mm -hmm. that, right? Stand anywhere around mm -hmm. here, around the minions, right? Preferably at an angle, like this or this, somewhere, you know, whatever, to make Jax uncomfortable and to force him to manipulate him. You want to be controlling him at all times. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, and I want you to stand still. He goes to auto- he's, like, standing here, and he's dash dancing, left to right, or whatever. And he goes to auto this, you simply walk in, and auto auto, and you back off. And you stand still again. You hit S. And you just stop. You and it's gonna look like you're still. AFK. You just stand still, and he's gonna hate you. Cause you're just yeah. standing there, and it's gonna get under his skin. And even if Can I dance? You can dance if you want, man. You can taunt him. Damn. You can type to him in all chat and ask him how he's doing. And you can tell him that you're reading the, you know, the daily newspaper. But yeah. basically, like, what you want to do is you just literally want to stand still. Because no matter what, the, the onus is on him to come up with a way to get the CS. It's not on you. But by mm -hmm. simply standing still at a location, he goes to move left, you move left. He goes to move right, you move right. You just meet him at every corn. You know, you meet him every uh, every turn. You mimic him. Yeah. Okay. So um, it's a lose lose situation for him, right? No matter what. Right. Just by standing still. Mm. In this in this instance, it is actually incorrect to dash dance because dash dancing, with the tower going off, right, could actually create opportunity for him to actually get CS. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, I'm like using the Super Smash Brothers analogy. Yeah. All right. So, anyways. Don't worry. Does that make, don't that worry. make sense? Yes. Um, one question. It's very specific. Mm -hmm. um, I've got an Azerti keyboard, not a QWERTY. Oh, okay. Is the is the S the S same? Just stop. Probably. I I, yeah, I this, don't know what you're. I is. I probably need to look up the hotkey. Okay. Um, because I needed to adjust them for mm -hmm. League of Legends. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Just use the the S key. All right, all right, okay. excellent. All right. I will. You re ready? Yep. Okay. Go, go. Nice. That's all poke, but now you look at your HP, look at your mana. Now, when you just mm -hmm. poked him, when you were standing right here, below, like, this minion that's chasing you, why back off? Mm. Look at, he still wants to get this 2CS, right? 
Mm -hmm. Your cooldowns are all off. What's Jax's HP? Hmm. Yeah. He's I, dead. He's actually yeah. dead. You missed. You it missed was, lethal. Yeah. You missed lethal. He can't get away. You will blow flash and ignite, but so will he, most likely. Um, but he he's dead. He should not be here right now. So you miss lethal, all right? And I, I okay. just I just want to get you to see that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it like drawing, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, sure. Because if this situation That's ever comes up again, yeah. If this situation ever comes up again, okay. Let me go back. Sorry. Come on, YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Stop being like this, YouTube. Oh, see that. Now he leaped, right? As he's yeah. leaping, what do you do? Um, you don't you don't go for lethal. You don't go for lethal. But what what does he tell you with his leap while he's um, in midair? He used his escape, his um, escape. other than flash, right? Uh, and what's the big thing? I'm either he for? stands there and takes a lot of damage, or he uh, takes a lot of yeah. I'm, I'm all right. Hold I, on. I'm gonna take this into paint. I'm looking for something bigger. You're looking for something bigger. Um, is junglers nearby? No. Nope. nope. Not that. If he's here, and he's like a catapult. Oh, okay. All right. He so lands here. He wants the CS. Well, um, he's so in he's not in a very good mental spot. He just wants to get it. Well, he wants to get. He's the frustrated. CS. He's frustrated. That's one thing. But the bigger picture is he's in midair. He can no longer change this. He's a cannonball. All right. Okay. Guess what? Shockwave's coming. Right on the X. Hmm. He leaps. Okay, so it's you know where fire. he's going. You. He cannot change his leap. He can't fucking decide that he's Superman and go like, ah, oh, no. You know what I mean? Like he, he can't. <laughs> he's he not can't Lee Sin. do that. He's not Lee Sin. So because he's not Lee Sin, we know where he's landing, and because we know where he's landing, and because we have about, I would say about three-fourths of a second to respond, which, you know what, you have to get used to doing that. Mm -hmm. You need to yeah. you need to hit that sure. gate. Alright? Yeah. And you need to chunk him. You know what I mean? Or, you know, chunk him for mm -hmm. some of his HP. And then you need to auto-auto him and pull back as the tower focuses you. And what you want to do with your auto-attack is you want to time it so that you know how the tower lines up the line on your, one of your minions? Mm -hmm. You want to okay. have it lined up on your minion and fire its orb and then go auto auto. That way its attack yeah. animation is on cooldown. Okay? Mm. And then yeah. you want to back off, wait for your cooldowns to reset, and if Jack stays, I don't care if he's right here. You fu you walk in like you're singed, man. You tell him that you got like I I don't know, man. <laughs> like you tell him you're singed <laughs> twenty years younger. Like if he doesn't recall he's dead. Because if he if he okay. eats this cannon, then it's it. Okay? Okay. So this is right. this is one instance of lethal. It will come up a lot in this matchup. Memorize it. Remember it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Like right there. No reason to back off. That was lethal too. First blood. I said it. I said bot lane. God damn it. All right. So first blood down. Well, it's our jungle. Okay, now Not what? What haven't you done in a little while? You haven't tabbed to see if the enemy jungler has come up on the mini map. Ah, you're right. Okay, yeah. check on his CS. Check on his itemization. You know what I mean? It can tell you a lot about where he's standing. Now you did. All right, that was good. Mm. Okay. Oh, please tell me. Oh no! No no. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> Oh, oh well. No, not oh well. This is a big deal. <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> he was dead. Uh, hold on. All right. Yeah. Okay. He'll be back. He'll be back. No, I know. I know. Um, just one thing you always want to uh, keep in mind is I, I, I didn't notice that there was actually your siege minion was at the tower, but uh, if you have the option of not recalling on a siege minion. Uh, wave, then don't. Oh, yeah. Because it's yeah, so much. Yeah, for sure. Right? Okay. Um, also, what is a way that you can maximize your advantage right now? Let me just pause. Now, Jax, Ooh. when he comes back to lane, where mm -hmm. where's the lane going to be when he comes back? Um, since he's got a cannon minion coming and already a wave there, it's going to probably be a little bit off of mid. A little it's bit off be like to here. his side, I think. 
I predict that it'll be here when it freezes. Oh, when it freezes. Okay, all right. Okay, so it'll be here, oh, like right. where this line is. So what is a way that you can heighten your lead? Now, you're already level 4. You know that you're going to get level 5 way ahead of him. What is a mm -hmm. way to potentially get level 6 ahead of him? Oh, um, I drive him out of the lane and freeze the lane. Not only that, but golems. Okay, all right. Okay. You're all ahead. Right. Get more ahead. All right? All right. Okay. We're good. Okay? Okay. All right. Ooh. I used Ignite Top. Okay. That's nice. Let your jungler know. Time everything for your own self. You know what I mean? You're not a support, so you don't have to be typing it in all chat for the world to know. But mm -hmm. it is good. Nice ward. All right. Yeah, I missed it. Yep. GG. Great accuracy. I'd love for you to be on my Osu team. Like, no, all right. So, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all right. So. All right. Good. Do you want to drink with those sarcasm oh, snaps? Oh, my God. You missed it. All right. All right. So I don't, all right, that's fine. The 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 idea was good. The idea was good. Um, the the shockwave idea. So not gonna critique it. You missed it. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. No. Why are you CSing? Why are you CSing? Slow um, as possible. You want to basically do like Chinese water torture right now on these minions. Like literally, just do not CS. Hit S. Stand still, freeze as long as possible. Like you're an ice cube, man. I don't know. Like mm -hmm. just don't CS. Just stand still. Right? No, right. You're you you just did something completely correct. I'm just gonna go into paint to outline it. Um you Um I can last hit, right? Yeah, last hit, or... of course. Last hit, yes. As okay. as right. slow as possible. If this minion can get to right here before you last hit it, do it. Okay, don't don't right. CS it when it has that much HP left just because you yeah. can. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're you're right. You're right. All right. Um, okay. okay, so you just did something correct. Um, now your character's back over here. Where should you be standing right now? Um, I can stand more to the top towards uh, the brush, or I can stand more towards the river. Um, In between here, dash dance. Okay, all right. Okay. What is the reason that I say this? I can zone Jax out of my minion wave. You can zone him out of By this? doing that. Right. What also do you have? What other neat little niche and crannies do you have? I can I can use the um, bush to my advantage. I can EQ from the bush and EQ from the bush. Uh, he will only see it late. Okay. You have complete safety from jungler ganks. Complete safety. Like, jungler can't mm -hmm. do anything to you. You walk into the bush, you walk over here, jungler comes up, you hammer him. They can't okay. do anything. They can't do anything. Um, the other thing that you have from being right here, okay, mm -hmm. is that this minion wave, where is it eventually going to go? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right? They're going to line up like this. All okay. Right? All right. So by standing right here, what do you do? Oh, look at it. That's your acceleration gate. Okay, all right. All right, complete zoning. Just by standing different. All right, and this is J-specific, obviously. If you're Teemo, mm -hmm. then oddly enough, you're going to be standing, like, here. <laughs> like, you're going to think the minions are your friends, man. Like, I don't know. So, anyways, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's go into, yeah. Fucking Teemo. Fucking Teemo, man. All right. Good. All right. Yeah, like, he couldn't be there right now if you were just standing there. Why are you afraid of him? Um, He's level 4, you're level 5. No, I, I pinged uh, his ward, and I typed it out that it's a minute. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, but to do that, I needed to, you know, le lose some... Mm -hmm. oh, and not so stand correctly. Yep. Yeah. See, you're not you're not zoning him out of this XP. Oh. Okay, so I need to be more in his face. Mm -hmm. okay. What a, no, 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 no. Don't, he hasn't used, uh, whatchamacallit yet. Oh, yeah, he's stunned. He stun. hasn't used it, right. Wait for him to start the stun, wait for the stun to go a little bit, knock him back, and then the effect of him missing effectively also stuns him. You know what I mean? When Jax, like, spins it and he slows down for a second? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's okay. kind of like an indirect stun. 
right? And then had your Q not been on cooldown, right? You can technically shoot a shockwave after you've knocked him back if you get really fast at it. You know what I mean? All right. If I started in hammer stance, yeah. Okay. Right. right. Okay. All right. So when should I be in hammer stance? versus jacks and when should i be in cannon stance versus jacks um because i usually just go cannon stance um until you want somebody either ganks or i can get a big combo off on him you you want to be in hammer stance against jacks um basically when he has the possibility to entertain a leap against you you want to be in cannon stance when you're trying to zone create psychological pressure and create opportunity for yourself okay all okay. right uh, okay. All good? All right. Yes. Pretty much. Nice. Nice. You should have comboed that with the knockback. Okay. All right. Full combo. Yeah. Full combo. Do the, do the Jace, the Bellinair. Bellinair, Jace. Alright. Okay, there's Wukong. And please don't tell me that you die. Nice! Nice! Okay, good. Really good. Really, really, really good. No. No. Okay. Ah, actually, right. it gets better. Watch, like, one more minute. Okay. But like, like like I said, no no you're you're right. No I just, know. Just because if something works out well for you, it does not mean that it is correct. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Just because you're playing a chess game and your opponent's been awake for forty eight hours and moves his queen into attack range of a pawn, does not mean no, that right. killing the queen with a pawn is actually a logical move that will happen often. So it doesn't okay. mean that it's it doesn't mean that it's good. It just your opponent was bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. you don't okay. want to replicate those things um, because it doesn't, you know, as you climb up in LOs, they will yeah, it come to not hold be. Up. Right, they, it will not hold up. Right, nice, 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 uh, nice choice of words. Okay, so here, I want to I wanna go through this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wukong is using his clone. What's the cooldown? You don't have to know it right now. You don't have to know it right 15 now. 15 seconds, something like that. Okay, you don't have to know it right now, but next right, time. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Just you know, this is also part of becoming a really good player, knowing every mm -hmm. champion's cooldowns at every level, also when factoring in CDR. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, this it, it it's built into your muscle memory. You just play lots of games. You uh, one thing that I can tell you that a few pros do in OGN is mm -hmm. um like, you know, like in the loading screen, they will mm -hmm. open up. You know, Internet Explorer, Google, Chrome, Firefox, and they will Google the, or Naver, I'm sorry, the enemy champion, and they will read mm -hmm. the cooldowns, and they'll just, like, memorize them. Okay, all right, like that. That's a, ni cool. that's a nice little trick. I actually did that uh, myself for a while. I still do it, uh, if I'm not familiar with the uh, champion. Like, if I if I face, like, a poppy, like, I'm like, mm -hmm. well, all right, what, what's the cooldown on her Q exactly? You know what I mean? I don't actually know that off the top of my head because I don't face it enough. Okay. So I will open up Google and look at that. You know what I mean? As I'm in the loading screen. All right, okay. so anyways. Ooh. Here. Use his leap. He's used his clone. He doesn't have ultimate. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is left? His next basic attack deals X damage, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Does he have red buff? No, he doesn't have any buffs. Okay. Now, because he doesn't have red buffs, all his skills are on cooldown. Could he have autoed you to death when factoring in that you have a movement speed bonus? No. You didn't need to flash. All right. All that's, right. that's mistake number one. Now, mistake number two. Because he can't auto you to death. Let's go through this really slow. Okay? Because this is what's going to make Wukong basically say to Jax, Yeah, I'm never coming top again. All right. So... <laughs> When this happens right here, okay, this is what's cool. going to make Wukong just be like, LOL, you're fucked, man, sorry, oh. LOL. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm sorry for yeah. double kill. Yeah, sorry for double kill. No, not even that. So you're going to move here. Okay, now he's going to auto you here, and he might auto okay. you here. You're going to move here. You're going to turn. Oh, you're going to dance between auto. the minions or what? 
you're gonna juke you're, you're gonna direct input into the minions yes auto direct input auto direct input auto and he can't chase you you have a movement acceleration buff if he does try to clone use his leap whatever guess what mm -hmm. you're in. okay so now if like he chases you into this right mm -hmm. and then he's standing like here and he tries to walk away and you okay. chase and he clone jumps into you guess where you flash here why minions guess what minions he tries to walk around you walk up you play ring around the rosie you tell him that you're freddy krueger man like um is the, this is all in canon stance right i shouldn't have gone to hammer stance this is all in, this is or... this is all in canon yeah all right so because i i um did the killing blow on jacks mm -hmm. with hammer stance mm -hmm. Um, last ten percent or something. But you can use I... one auto in hammer stance before you change All back right. because that that should that should factor in the cooldowns. All okay. right. Um, so okay, and you will live. Um, All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, I I was thinking. Um, also, hammer stance give a a bit of bonus MR and armor, mm -hmm. if I recall correctly, um, which is kind of a big help against these champions, but. Um, okay, so I should have gone to my minions and I should have danced around them and then gone into hammer stands and keep dancing. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Okay. Oh, cool. In the exact Excellent. motion and direct inputs that I described, strictly because of the flashback into these three minions. Okay. Okay. All right. Because then it allows huh. you to play Ring Around the Rosie. And then, even if you don't get the kill on Wukong you basically make him tell Jax that he's on his own. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't want to deal with that. Especially, you know? All right. Um, okay. So that's good. So you didn't need to use Flash, and then you also had opportunistic potential kill. Potential, yeah. All right. That was weird. Yeah, all right. Don't worry. Don't all worry. Right. Keep watching. All right, let's go. Now I'm going to skip forward a little bit now, because um, I want to approach other important aspects. I feel like we've gone over a lot about the laning phase, Mm. Level 7, level 8. There is stuff that we can talk about with Jace, but ready. there's more important stuff right now. Yeah, right. excellent. Okay. Excellent. So right now, you should definitely be recalling. What's your money at right now? Uh, I'm waiting for YouTube to not show... No, YouTube, I don't need to see your big... Uh, nope. That was another instance of they only have one way to direct input, mm. and you launched it <laughs> not in the way. <laughs> you could have killed him. I, I believe you could have killed him there. Yes, um, you're okay. right. So that's that's okay. So you can win harder, all right. Yes, can, I can win harder. All right, then I'm you can sorry. pick up. Yeah, no, you can pick up blue, and you can tell him that you're not actually a vegetarian. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, you kill him here. Okay, you do end up getting the kill, but that's not the point, because a proper Wukong, I don't know why he doesn't yeah. just run down and live. Like he's being so greedy. He obviously wants to get like a smite with a ward, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so you get blue. Nice, you get out. Jax is back, you ping it. That's really good. Wukong is dead. Check the death timers. It lets you know, you know what I mean? Check what items he bought, whatever. Okay, you recall. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, while you're recalling, I hope you tab before you buy. All right, you do. Okay, Jax, two Dorons and boots. So how do you want to mm -hmm. respond? Nice. Okay, brutalizer. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so now you're coming you're coming back to top. Now what I want to point out really quick. Whoa. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. So now you're coming back to top, and by the time you arrive to top, where are these minions? Um Right about between here. Oh, alright. Okay. And this you can learn by going into single player with a friend, 1v1, you know, even have a Jax, it doesn't really matter. Just learn mm -hmm. how fast these min you know what I mean? This these minions HP intervals and stuff, they will come up again. Doesn't matter yeah, if it takes okay. 10 games, 20 games, 30 games, whatever. They will come up again. There is a factual known, you know, instance about where they will land by the time you arrive back like here. Now obviously mm, this okay. is factoring in is he freezing it or not? Is he trying to see us? He's trying to see us. So therefore mm -hmm. there's an answer. You know what I mean? Even if it's not right here, it's in this vicinity. You know what I mean? It's okay. like, whatever, give or take, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So that's whatever. In some freak incidences where he freezes or whatever, to a degree, it can end up being like, 
you know, because your minion wave is like way back here, right? Mm -hmm. some, some freak instances, it can be like here, right? Okay. So you're judging with this like, okay. So because of that, all right, what do you have technically opportunity to do when factoring in Jace's long range EQ? Again, take golems. Uh, golems, yeah. Okay. okay. Just get further ahead. All right. All right. Um, the other thing is that when you do get back to lane, okay, what kind of timing is going on right now? Now, you know that bottom is shoving. Kale's mm -hmm. missing. You know Wukong, when he reses from base, he has one of two roots. He's not going here. He's not going here. This is pointless because Jax is shoving the lane. He has no business coming to top lane, right? So we know that he's not mm -hmm. going to come here. Okay? So he's going to go here to here to here. So what's the game timer? I can't see it right now, sadly. Um, if 8.40. It's... 8.40. Okay, so he's not going to be around... Or actually, yeah, he might be around red, d depending on if he started blue. So because he might be around red, what also mm -hmm. might be something that might be good to pick up. Now, Volibear's red's up, and Volibear's not on top of it, so you need to yell at Volibear next time. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> um, basically, Volibear's going to get red, and then what happens? So Golems is gone, red is gone, Wolves are gone, Wraiths are gone. And after you get to top, you can hyper-shove this, because your tier's charged, you have full mana, you know, you have Brutalizer, mm -hmm. you're equipped... You have Ignite, you got your lighter, all right? You're not a caveman. You're gonna mm -hmm. shove this really hard. You're gonna shove it to like here. I'm gonna use a different color. I'm gonna get like red, okay? You're gonna shove to, that's not red. Uh, you're gonna shove to like here, okay? Mm -hmm. And that is to deny vision of river. That way, if he does not have a ward in here, you know what I mean? He mm -hmm. can't advance forward. He cannot push the lane because you have such an advantage. So now you're playing the psychological thing again, right? All the meanwhile, mm -hmm. guess what you're doing? You are walking down to mid. You're going to EQ the mid wave. You're going to shove this. And then guess what? You're going to pop a ward here. Dragon. Dragon. Okay. All right. Okay. You shove right. the lane. You shove the lane. You're only missing about maybe 6 CS or something. In the meanwhile, because mm -hmm. of how hyper sho you know, you shoved it. You're up mm -hmm. two golems on him, all right, which is really, really big. And Jax is stuck in top lane, and he has no response. All right. And if they try to contest... So you will do that even if you leave your top tower in exposed then? Well, it's not really exposed. Has he ever hit your top tower? No, but right. um, I'm guessing if he has any, uh, any sense, if he sees me EQing in mid, he will start pushing like a madman. Right, but how fast can a Jax with only two Doran's Blades and Boots really push? Alright, yeah, I guess that's a question that I cannot answer. Right, so, you know, you'd, you'd see it, and then you just, you memorize it. It becomes a part okay. of your muscle memory, alright? Uh, the fact of the matter is, um, by the time you get down to mid, and he's realized that you're in mid, and you've EQ'd, you've capped your dragon and get back to top, your top tower probably still has about 1500 HP. Hmm. Alright? Okay. That, okay. That's just my rough estimate. Um, based on, you know, everything being presented. Alright. And I factor that in because this wave is going to be killed. You're going to shove this wave back. The wave that does reach your tower is going to be killed within, like, four or five tower shots. Jax is going to have to back off. The minions are then going to clash in front of the tower, so Jax okay. cannot actually kill them that fast. You know what I mean? Until your tower starts taking aggro. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. the, the back minions, the four, five, six the spellcasters, they're going to be safe from Jax. You know what I mean? He can okay. kill these melee minions, but it's going to be a little bit of a delay. All the meanwhile, you got you probably clear dragon. You've recalled when these minions go down, and then he's mm -hmm. probably on your tower. Okay, all right. All right. So that's, that's my thought process, okay? All, all right. right, okay. All right, so that's what, you know, should happen. Now we get here, right. and you're CSing relatively slow. So I, we know that's not what you do. And so this is an example of winning harder, right? Um, so even though you're winning, you're doing well, you know, you can't complain, there was a way to do it better. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. All right, so let's, let's skip around. Now again, he can only direct input one way, and you don't shoot mm. that one way. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Uh... I can use the Nidalee Spear argument. I just totally miss everything man. until the 30 minute ma uh, mark, and then when it actually matters, I'll land it. See? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, you could hit a field goal, man. Did you, Have you ever considered the NFL? Like, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not an American person, so <laughs> it's right. difficult. Alright, so, warp gate never should be in front of you, always on top of you. Specifically mm. for this reason, get into the habit of doing that, okay? Uh, always accelerate, or I'm sorry, not warp gate, Jesus, this isn't StarCraft 2. Always acceleration <laughs> gate on top of yourself, specifically for this reason. You always want to have mm. that little boost, and then if you want to be like the Koreans and really cute, you dash dance in and out of it consistently to always be getting the max uh, movement speed, and you poke, 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 poke. And you basically okay. say, you can't come on me because I have max movement speed. Okay? Okay. All right. All right. So here, this is just an example of Jax getting flustered and you bring down the hammer in his face. Like, <laughs> So basically, this was Disney's version of a male Cinderella getting out of hand. All right. Anyways, we are going to uh, push this lane now. Okay. You should, you should hyper shove it. Okay. Nice. You do it. Okay. And then Ziggs died. You don't have your ward trinket, which is fine. Just shove this wave, go back. Go back. Please tell me you go back. No, you don't go back. The reason that I say go back is because right now, all right, now given the death timers, we're just going to... Sorry, I'm going to uh, just move this up. Okay, so I know the camera is not on you or whatever. This is mm -hmm. good, though, that you're seeing this, uh, because Volley Bear are probably not going to die if he has passive. I don't know if he has passive. Yeah, he's got his passive up He has right ultimate. Now. Okay. Um, but the reason that I say this is because Jax is, like, right here. Oops, sorry, not right here. Jax is, oh, fuck. Jax is, like, right here. Okay? Mm hmm And you just calculate that by reading the death timer, factoring Jax's movement speeds in consideration to the boots that he currently has, uh, bought. And then mm -hmm. you can just, you can know how fast he gets back to lane. That's something you can learn in single player. Take a friend, you just go and you get the feel for it. You know what I mean? Like with a stopwatch right. or something, and it just becomes muscle memory. You just want to get it into your muscle memory, okay? So why don't I just take his tower now, um, and instead I go back? Why? Okay, is laning phase over? Is it anywhere near over? No, you just happen to have an insane advantage, right? Okay. Okay, you just happen to have three zero. You should not have that right now. In a, in a typical scenario, right? You don't have it right now. So in a typical scenario, what does this lane look like right now? Nothing like this. You know, right. maybe that tower has some damage on it. You know, whatever. You certainly don't have a brutalizer. You probably have two long swords. Like, let's be real, and a few more potions <laughs> and like a ward. But you don't have a brutalizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a case of. Okay, so oftentimes, um, I often say that uh, th there's players that do really well, but they don't mm -hmm. know how to perform well, okay? And this leads okay. to the Dunning-Kruger's effect, or Dunning-Kruger syndrome, whatever, where inferior players actually believe they are better than they are, because mm -hmm. sometimes they do really well, and that, okay. and that enables them to completely forget all the bad that they do. But what I'm trying to say with this is that right now, you are forgetting you're just really far ahead. It's not that, you know, laning phase is nowhere near over. You know what I mean? Like, this is totally still on. Bot is still, a, you know, spot still a go, mid still a go, whatever. You don't need to get that mid tower. You know what I mean? Bot's not getting crushed. They don't need the extra gold and XP globally from the tower. You know what I mean? So what do you want to mm -hmm. do? You want to suffocate Jax. You want to shut him down. If you take this tower, I'm going to show you what you just, you do to Jax. You do fucking Jax a solid, man. You're like bringing Christmas to him. And the reason that I say that is because, yes, you give your team a little bit of a boost, but Jax can now farm here. Mm-hmm. Okay? Okay. You can't right. do anything from that. You don't want to buy a ward for this, 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 and this. Like, you're not... <laughs> no. You know? Like, you don't want to do that. And by doing that, you're enabling Jax, Jax to get more CS than if you back off and freeze the lane. Suffocate him. All right. Starve him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Make him as weak as humanly possible for the mid game because you already know that tower is yours whenever you want it. You want to make him feel safe though by letting him say, you know, say that he can keep his tower. So basically you're like some you're like jigsaw man. Like that's what's going on. You're like letting the, him keep his firearm even though in reality like the room that he's in is actually just there's like 10 sniper rifles aimed at him. You know what I mean? Like he can't do anything. But you're letting him believe that he can because he still has his tower. Okay? Hmm. 
So at least he still has his toy gun. All right. All right. So that's that's literally the reasoning behind it. Why take this tower and let him get six CS a minute, or six CS a wave, when you can let the tower live and let him only get three CS a wave, while also being under constant pressure, having to invest in a lot of potions, and having to recall much more often, thus losing out on experience. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now let's go forward. All right. Let's go forward again. So I went down to dragon, got dragon, mm -hmm. and now I go back top. That's basically what happened. I've got. I had the timer on his blue. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like that you're telling me your thought process. Okay, nice. You move into the brush to avoid him possibly seeing you out of the brush. That's that's really cute. All right, you show that golem who's boss. Jace even makes a uh, sound effect for you. All right, so here. No. Yes. All right, you made up for it. Okay. Hammer it. Shove it. Shove it. Shove it. Top's dead. Jax is gonna farm no matter what you do right now. What should you be doing? Hmm. Does it look like Kale has armor? Does Wukong have armor? Does Ezreal? Does Thresh? No. All right. Okay. Get in mid. Siege. Make everyone yell at Jax for being in top lane at you know. I don't know what's the game timer right now. The game timer is like. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Fifty. Okay, 13 I, can't, I can't see it sadly because of the YouTube thing. Um, so, okay, so everyone's going to yell at Jax, like, why are you top farming? And then he's getting into, you know, arguments with them about how he couldn't farm. You know what I mean? Okay. So you want to get in mid, siege, 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 because your wave clear is going to be insane. With tier, you have blue buff, you have, you know, brutalizer, boots, you have your acceleration gate. No one's going to catch you. You know what I mean? Ezreal doesn't even have boots. He's homeless, man. So is Kale. You know what I mean? They don't they don't have anything. They can't catch you. Jax is gonna be in top lane, you're gonna siege this. You guys have dragon control. Bot lane should realistically and ideally shove back bot, capture mid, recall, complete items, group up, team fight. You know what I mean? Objective control. That should be your goal. Okay. Alright. Right. So I'm gonna see what you do. If you get another kill, wonderful. But it's not correct. All right. Nice, you're moving around the map with acceleration. Okay. See how slow Jax is pushing that? Mm, yeah, okay. okay. You know, he can't do anything. No, 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 Ziggs is fine. He's fine. Don't go and save him. You don't need to do this. Keep the pressure on mid because Wukong can see you. You know what I mean? And if he see that Ziggs is going to get to you, he's not even going to go for it. You don't even need to do this right now. See? It wouldn't have mattered had you come over there or not because Wukong okay, never right. even entered the bush. He didn't even know where you were standing. I want to say you have lethal. On Wukong? On Wukong. Yes, I want to say you have lethal. And I'm being completely honest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this really slow, and I'll tell you. But I think you have lethal. And if you do, um, I will show you how. Okay, all right. Okay? Excellent. Because you, you just always want to memorize these situations. They will Oh, look, Ezreal ult. Yeah, I didn't notice ult. that. Now, hold on. First off, one thing. I want to go over. Okay, so right here. Guess what? What's going on? What's going on right here? Right now that I'm paused at. Hmm. All right. Let me let me show you what's going on. Okay, so guess what? This is a little wall, right? Right here. Oops. Sorry. Let me just. Why isn't this like? What in the fuck? All right, let me just make a new... Okay. So, this right here... Let me get my colors. This is a little mm -hmm. wall. 
right? And he can't walk around that. He has to go around here, right? Mm -hmm. So what should you be doing? You shouldn't be in hammer stance. You should be in cannon stance, and boom. Okay. He can't escape that. He's going to take a chunk. All right? All right. Now, if he does something weird like Juke's right, he's a good player. You know what I mean? Because that's not, you know, um, that's not normal. You know? Um, okay. And then, obviously, when you get higher LOs, you begin leveling each other. You shoot here on purpose because you think he will juke right to try to dodge it. <laughs> honestly, honestly, this is that's, that's actually what happens. So, yeah. But you don't have to worry about that. Problem. All right. All right? See, he would have walked right into it. He would have loved your parry bar get. All right. Cream pie. Okay. All right. So, jumps onto you. Now, your Q was wasted. Now, you don't need to shove the lane with your Q right here, all right, for a lot of reasons. A, you have Ziggs throwing his bombs, all right? You don't have to be in a competition for CS. And in fact, if you're playing to win and playing to climb Elo and stuff right now, um, you should actually probably just let Ziggs have it because you have such an, an insane, absurd lead, and you just want to have all your skills on cooldown in case they come to contest. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, when he jumped on you, now imagine if you have your Q. Now, you don't, but if you do, it's even more damage, okay? In addition to the fact that you could have hit your Shockwave back when he was at River, so his HP would be, like, half right now, literally, but then also, if you hit your Shockwave at River, maybe he doesn't make this jump onto you, so it's kind of like, now we're playing with, like... Yeah, probability. You know, right, fictional, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, fantasy situations. So, anyways, he did come at you. Okay, so... Hit, hit, hit. Keep going. If you keep going, one more hit. The shockwave would come off cooldown. Shockwave him. Hammer stance, combo, ignite, flash backwards. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's yeah, dead. He doesn't sure. have clone right now. He doesn't have clone. He's dead. Ezreal doesn't have all. Ezreal doesn't have damage. Ezreal doesn't have boots. Ezreal's homeless. He's dead. If you, for some reason, he managed to escape somehow... Let's take a look at uh, top left right here. You see that green button with Ziggs? That's an ultimate. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Like, he's not getting away. You have lethal on Wukong. Yeah. Okay. So this All is right. an error. This is an error. Okay. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so I just wanted to go over that with you really quick. And now you're pinging top, but what is something that you could do? What is an alternative? And I would actually prefer this alternative. Uh, do raids and then go back mid? Nope. Something outside mm. the box. If you were in, <laughs> if you were in a, a teams five uh, team right now, what would you potentially ask someone? When is dragon? No, no one. No, I would tell Ziggs to ulti tops minions and continue shoving mid and get the tower. Okay, all right. That makes sense. So just tell him in chat, Ziggs alt top. It's okay, not unrealistic all right. because Ziggs is he's meant to do that in a lot of situations. You know what I mean? You don't need right. that. That farm is equal to tower. So no matter what, you're going to benefit. But you essentially offer more by being in mid because dragon might come up soon if you have the timer on it. You should mm -hmm. uh, because your team capped it. Um, dragon should come up soon. <laughs> okay. You don't want to have yourself and Volibear all the way on top side of the map, because Volibear is probably going to, like, kill Golems after he kills Red, because he's Volibear. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Um, and because of that, then you have two out of five of your team members on a dead side of the map. Like, it just doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? For pro productivity. You can easily okay, be in mid. Right. Wukong's recalled. Ezreal took a chunk of his HP. Fresh is not a threat. You're fed. You have blue buff. You're, like, shooting off balls of light everywhere, man. All right? Mm. Okay. Okay. Alright. Now, if you come top and get a kill, again, it still doesn't... It's not good. Yeah, yeah. It's... Yeah. It's... it's in, this is Jax being Jax. I swear to God, if he's here right now. If no, he's, he's not. Oh, what? Where did he go? I don't know. I he's in the top brush. He's in the top brush. I no, think... He's in I you checked should. that brush. No, 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 the top one, you didn't walk into it. I, Didn't I? I don't think so. I think you walked by it. Hold on, let's check. No, 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 he, he's gonna he's gonna show up in no, the jungle. No, no, no. I'm sure no, of it. No, you're not. 
He's gonna show up in the jungle because he came there from base. Like, let's be real for a second. <laughs> so he's here, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna track him. Mm. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. Okay, he can get out. He can get out. You don't go in there. But yes, okay. All right, we'll we'll say for the sake of the argument, he got out. Oh, okay, he did. He did. He showed up for a second. Okay. All right. All right, you're safe, but you didn't check top. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Okay. So you get this, right? Shove this. Ezreal used ult, and what can you do? What can you gather from Ezreal's ult? Uh, he is a terrible shot, as bad as me. He maybe he <laughs> actually maybe Leeson disguise. That is true. And secondly, you can tell exactly where he's standing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And because you can tell exactly, well, no, not just that he's bot. You can tell exactly where he's standing, and that's important. Because mm. then when you learn, again, you go back to movement speeds, you can know exactly when he will show up in mid. Okay, alright. Alright? Oh, yeah. Alright. Hmm. I should keep this in mind. Okay. Track Ezreal by ult. Yeah. That's, that's something, you know? Kill the monkey. Nah. Oh, no, you should have walked behind him. To get the hammer, I mean yeah. that that's pretty simple. I don't have to I don't have to freeze frame to do that for you. Oh, don't let her recall night. Oh, why why hammer no, stance? Why hammer? Um, because I thought I was in jump range. <gasps> yeah, he gets away. Oh my god! All right. Well, all right. I would. Yep. Complete mirror. Mo okay. Good. Just try to turret. This is good. Now the first thing that you do when getting up from recall is what? Nice, you get, um, you get an HP thing. Okay. I um I think I go dragon? I don't know. Okay. Um Because if dragon is available, that is the correct call, but how do you And get I dragon? think I go there by bot. Good. But I'm okay. not hundred percent sure. Um if I do it's clearly a mistake, but um if yeah, I don't you should I mean. you should go bot. Get that CS wave and then come dragon. Yeah, I don't and apparently. You don't. Okay, but for future reference, go bot. Oh, oh, that's wave. why I pinged volley bear. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, I should I should have gone bot myself. You should have gotten it yourself, right? You are yeah. a carry. You need that farm. A volley bear okay. needs two items, his passive, and for enemies to target him in team fights. That's all he needs. Okay. So, all right. So you end up killing this, and this is really risky. Against a good Thresh, good Kale, good Ezreal, you're dead. So don't mm. don't overextend like that. All right, stay at your tower, and shock blast. You know what I mean? Shock wave these these minions from afar. Don't get too close. Yes. All right, because right now if you die, you give up dragon, and you do not want to be you know the the person to blame for if your team starts falling behind or something. Okay, so dragon's up. Why are you mm -hmm. going top? Why is Ziggs using that? Oh, oh god. So you push this. Yep, go to dragon. Yep. Okay, drop your ward. Nice. Nice, that was really, really nice. That was really nice. Okay, that was good. Yes. Direct input. Keep going, 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 keep going. Sick city, man. That was good. It was really, really good. I think this is game. But uh, it's still not a penta, so <laughs> not in the uh, yeah. But I'm, no. <laughs> no <I'm laughs> oh Alright, so uh, anyways, yeah. Off this, you cap the Nexus turrets. That way it enables, um, even, if, even if you don't end the game, you cap the Nexus turrets, and that enables mid inhibitor to end the game. Uh, hmm. Where you just capture one Nexus turret, and that enables mid inhibitor to capture the last Nexus turret. 
Mid inhibitor, unless in freak incidences, okay, cannot on their own capture Nexus turrets. Unless the, okay. the minions clump up for some obscure reason. You died to Kale, by the way. That is not acceptable. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, yeah, anyways, just so you know, top and bottom inhibitors can kill Nexus turrets on their own. Mid inhibitors cannot kill Nexus turrets on their own unless the minions clump up and approach the Nexus turrets on a uh, a dry wave. Do you know what I mean by a dry wave? Mm. Uh, a wave, uh, like, um, a, a wave that doesn't have a siege minion. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Um, so, un you know, so there's all these conditions that have to be met, and it's extremely rare. But for the most part, yeah. always know that mid inhibitor cannot end the game. So then you might ask me, well, then why do pro teams often always push mid and take mid inhibitor before peeling back and buying and stuff? Well, because mid is the fastest way to end the game from fountain to fountain. It is also yeah. the fastest minion to enemy fountain that you can possibly get. So that means it is creating opportunity whilst also buffing the other lanes because your minions get, you know, HP, attack, damage, you know, whatever bonuses. But mm -hmm. it is creating an opportunity that your opponents have to keep entertained that if they really butcher a team fight, the game might just end. Okay, all right. Okay? Cool. And you might argue, well, then why not just do that for top lane or bottom lane, you know, because those lanes have more advantages. Not only is it, A, harder to do it that for that, those lanes, because it's harder to angle it. Um, mm -hmm. B, the other thing about that is the minions do not reach it nearly as fast. So the waves oh, yeah. are coming in inconsistently. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think Ooh. you win here. Yeah, it's, right. uh, it's GG. All right. I don't think I even have time to respawn, so... Okay. Yeah, it looks like Jinx got it. All right, man. So let's finish up with uh, questions, basically, uh, about anything that you had. All right. Um, okay, so I'm a player who likes to expand his uh, his player pool, I, I would say. Um, I play with a lot of, or at least I like to play with a lot of champions. However, I've been told many times to pick just a few if I really want to climb. I would like to have your opinion on some uh, champions for jungle mid and top mm -hmm. um, so that I can actually focus, especially mid, because I I don't really have a lot of champions that I actually like playing mid. Um, so easy, uh, for top lane I like Jace, as I said, that's probably one of my most played champions. Um, I like Rise as well, especially against the more tanky, uh, okay. more tanky champions now. Um, occasionally Jax, um, and I was thinking of Xin Zhao, but I don't know about that one. I haven't actually Xin taken Zhao's, him into ranked. He's a good jungler, not a good top laner. He's too easily okay. shut down, too easily abused by counter picks. He also has a very, very hard time on blue side. Um, there's, there's so many things to, to factor in about Xin Zhao that's just not very beneficial. Um, my All opinion right. is that you should have a minimum of two champions per lane. Minimum. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say this for your off lanes. So, yes, you do want to have your sister lanes, like uh, mid-top jungle um, mm -hmm. or AD carry support jungle. You know what I mean? You want to have your sister lanes. Um, yeah. But you want to have a minimum of two champions. So, like, uh, myself personally, I prefer to play jungle mid and top, right? But mm -hmm. if you ask me to, I can play you know, Lucian and Graves at a very, very high level. You know, yeah, com okay. compared to my my Rise, my Kossadin, you know, like my, my main core champs. Um, mm -hmm. so, you know, similarly, I can also play Annie, you know, at this, you know what I mean? Like, uh, for support. Mm -hmm. And I can play Leona. So, you know, but if you ask me to play Sona, <laughs> no. You know, yeah. <laughs> if you ask me to play Blitz, no, it's not gonna, you know? Um, could I learn them? Of course, but I would have to take time and dedicate it to learning them, and that's not my, you know, that's not my goal right now to learn them mechanically. I understand all about, you know, their principles, their concepts, the cooldowns and stuff, um, mm -hmm. but yes, for solo queue, for getting better, stick to a few champions that you like, and I, I emphasize that you like. Don't pick a champion that you don't like because if you're not passionate about a champion, you can't champion that champion. Mm -hmm. All yeah. Right. Okay. You can't ascend. You can't take it to another level unless you actually have a desire to win with that champion, specifically because it's that champion. Um. Anyways, so about that, um, 
yeah, just have have a, have a have a pool of about five to six champs that you rotate through, and also try to have ones that share lanes. So, for instance, like me, you know, whatever, um, Rise, he shares top and mid. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, so I you actually him. take Rise into mid as well. Yeah, I take Rise. In, I take Rise into mid. He's I I brought him over to top from my mid pool. Oh, all right. All you know right. what I mean? Uh, Diana, you know, I can play her mid and top. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, you can you can try to put Jace mid and top. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, Zed, that was one of my questions. Top. Right, mm. Zed, mid and top. You know what I mean? So, like, there's all these these neat little things that you can do. Renekton, mid and top. <laughs> Re no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's be serious, Renekton support. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, I saw yeah. that on your right. stream. Yeah, so, yeah, you did actually. Yes, yeah, see? I'm not making this shit up. All right, so, mm. um, try to do that. You'll improve more. Uh, and also... Get into get into days where you're only playing like one or two champs the entire time. Okay. You know what I mean? okay. Truly understand the champion, their ins and outs, because you know what, Jace, he may build the same at the you know his end game screen may be the same at the end of every game, but how mm -hmm. he builds it, how he reaches that, is never going to be the same in so many different situations. You know what I mean? Okay. Like when uh, I'll just give an example with Rise. Sometimes there's just like something really goes like so good in my lane that like i decide that no i'm not gonna get catalyst i'm actually gonna sort pen boots before getting catalyst and i'm gonna use the sort pen boots in a way that further gives me an edge that catalyst couldn't give me and thus overall helps my team you know what i mean okay. i will get catalyst later but right now i spec sort boots you know what i mean sometimes there's gonna be mm. times where i get haunting guys whereas other times it's nowhere to be found on my match history you know what you know what I mean? Okay, cool. Grow to understand the champs. And when you understand the champs fully, you'll also understand the champs that you're fighting against. Because when, right. you, when you bring your champion, you know, when you bring your champion to its full capacity, mm -hmm. when you are met with resistance, it's because you're being met with resistance by another champion on its full capacity. And thus you okay. learn more about the enemy champion just by playing your own champion better. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Right. Like, um, mm. if you're you know, gold, and you go up against a bronze five as Jace, you're not going to have to do all these fancy things with this positioning and stuff. They're going to do it mm -hmm. for you. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, yeah they'll in. fight in my minions. Right, yeah. they'll, they'll stand still on stuff. They'll, like, type in all chat, why don't you just hit me? You know what I mean? Like, weird things. <laughs> like, fight me. Right. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Like, I don't know. So, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything, because they do it for you. But then as you move up, you're going to be met with resistance. People juking your cues, people juking your shockwaves, you know, stutter stepping, you know, dash dancing against you, like, you yeah. know, whatever. Okay. So that's that. Um, but anyways, we will um, do another We'll do another lesson um, soon. But I Sweet. hope this, uh, this, all, this all helped. Um, yeah, so just keep playing Jace, keep playing Rise, um, you know, whatever. And Excellent. just have, have a pool of about five to six champs, all right? All right, cool. All right, man. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right, take care. Are... Yep. All right, good. Bye.